Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Jeffrey from uh, Ulala Cosmetic and Laser. Today we're doing a uh, treatment for uh, female pattern hair loss. This is a very common condition. It generally incur, uh, happens in women from 40 years to 50 years and onwards, particularly in the postmenopausal period where there's a lot of hormonal changes. There's many different treatment options. Uh, these range from uh, just using hair products to pharmaceutical products to encourage hair growth to uh, uh, base essentially just uh, taking your plasma injecting it into your hair nanofat which I'm going to be demonstrating today and then um, other techniques where we take hair and we use the stem cell bulbs to inject. The beauty about nanofat but like uh, plasma is that it's your own regenerative material that you're putting back into your scalp. The advantage of nanofat compared to PRP treatments is that you generally only need to have one treatment uh, to have a quite a long lasting effect whereas PRP you've got to come in regularly to have treatments. It's not a once-off treatment with PRP. So in patients busy lives, nanofat is uh, a good option because it's just going to be a once-off treatment and essentially what we're doing is we're harvesting fat. Fat has a multitude of what we call uh, mesenchymal medicinal stem cells uh, that we can inject into the hair and stimulate a regenerative process to stimulate hair growth. Um, so it's a very useful modality to use for a wide range of applications in cosmetic aesthetics. Uh, so what I have done is I'm going to inject the uh, local anesthetic and today Suvi doesn't have a lot of um, abdominal fat so we'll be harvesting from the inner thighs which generally has um, good quality uh, mesenchymal uh, medicinal cells and we will be uh, aspirating those and then we will be putting that tissue through a series of mechanical disaggregations. In other words what we do is we actually break down the fat cells and between the fat cells are what we call stromal cells and they lie in the connective tissue between the, between the fat cells and when we mechanically disaggregate those cells what we end up doing is getting a, a very rich uh, regenerative uh, tissue uh, transplant to put back into uh, her hair loss areas. The nano fat that we get is essentially like a solution. There are no fat cells in that solution and that enables us to inject it through fine needles like we would with PRP into the scalp. And what you'll see is I'm just going to, this is the area where I'm going to harvest the fat from, in here, into this area, relatively painless procedure, and we leave it for about 20 minutes, so the adrenaline that's in there will shut off the um, um, uh, capillaries and blood vessels, so we get a nice clean harvest to then adenize or break it down and put back into her into her scalp. I'm going to be using a multi-hole cannula to harvest the fat and I'm going to create a vacuum and then I'll be using the syringe backwards and forwards uh, to 
aspirate the fat which I will be demonstrating shortly. So we're just going to work in this area where we've So we're just using the, the negative pressure of the syringe and then exercising the cannula to uh, create a little bit of mechanical disruption of the fat layer and then aspirating into the syringe. So I'm just washing the fat now with a bit of saline and then I'll centrifuge it again and then we'll go into the mechanical disaggregation of the fat. So what I'm using here is a tulip device, it's called Nano Transfer. There's a, a mechanical insert, as you can see it's fenestrated, it's quite sharp and what that does, as I go backwards and forwards with the fat, I break it down into smaller and smaller particles, which I'll demonstrate now. Alright, so now I'm going to start the process of nano fat. So this is a 2.4 millimeter. And I'm going to go backwards and forwards 20 times. You can see the color of the fat changing a bit now. It's going a little bit more pale. Okay, so now I'm going to change this filter over. And I'm going to go to a 1.4 millimeter filter. Or this aggregator, you can call it. So we, what we're really doing is we're reducing the, um, breaking down the fat cells into smaller particles and we're creating a beautiful solution that's rich in growth factors, <coughs> medicinal stem cells uh, that are your own products. That's the beauty of this and uh, it's beautiful for facial rejuvenation simply injecting nano fat like PRP in the face gives a fantastic rejuvenation effect it can be also needled into the face and into the decolletage into the arms wherever you want to put it and it really is a fantastic product and it's your own it's 100% natural I'm going to push this through now through the filter Okay. So now I'm going to further disaggregate this with a 400 micron filter and this is really almost stromal vascular fraction material which is okay let's get a connector and we can just put the the nano fat in Subi. yeah okay all right so this is beautiful rich material in the syringe and it's all natural it's all natural you can see the colors changed there's no fat cells that you can see it's purely just a rich stem cell stromal vascular solution that sounds so good that solution I'm really glad that that's gonna go along my hairline here and I think it's just going to have a really good effect to rejuvenate this hair and, and I love that it's all natural, like it's just fantastic, it's your own body rejuvenating, so I'm very excited today. <laughs> so what we've got here is our 13 mils of stem cell product, uh, which I'm just going to add. Suvi's had PRP before with a good result, so I'm anticipating you get a good result with this. This is a lot of solution when you realise that uh, it, it's, it's almost a semi-solid solution, so it's going to go a long way compared to injecting PRP. Okay, so that's the end result, and that's going to be what's going to hopefully stimulate a hair craft. So I'm just going to plop that in there. There, okay. Now we've raised a papule there. Just need to put about 0.1 in each one. When you, uh, okay. There you go. And these don't form lumps, by the way. You can do this uh, when you do nano fat under the face. This is how we do it. And I'm just going to go along, inject the nano fat into the dermis, which is where the bulb of the hair follicles are, to create a nice stem cell response. 
too painful, Subi? No, it's fine. It, it's really fine. Okay, that's good to know. He's uh, at a post arrived, mesenchymal or medicinal or stem cells. Quite an amazing effect. And slightly thicker than, a lot thicker than PRP. So I'm using a, um, a thicker needle here, but she's not really complaining much. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's really fine. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes over the next six months. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much. Many people don't realise that when we use nanofat as a treatment, so say we are using it for rejuvenation, it can take up to two years to see the full effect of uh, nanofat. So it is a type of what we call regenerative treatment. It is not a filler treatment, okay, which swells up. This is a regenerative treatment. When we use nanofat in other areas, we can inject with the cannula, but more in the subcutaneous plane rather than in other ways. Not as superficial as this in the fats. But equally, you know, like I said, the um, and also needle this product uh, into the face as well. Okay, yeah. Um, once you've broken it down. Thank you so much, Dr. Jeffrey. I'm genuinely grateful for your help with this. And um, how do I look after my scalp now for the next few days, weeks? Well, once a bit of this, you will have some swelling after this in the scalp. Um, once that settles down, we like to use some. Uh, uh, formulas that you can either derma roll into your scalp okay. or rub into your scalp with your hands yeah. uh, as well as a shampoo that stimulates uh, hair growth as well uh, but aftercare there's not really much aftercare it's you've got to do all the work now you've got to make it grow <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you um, but yeah it's it, it, it may be a bit of a journey to see the result yeah. um, uh, but generally speaking the effects of nanofat are very effective. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much.